Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Uhuru wireless gaming mouse with up to 10,000 dpi. It's based on the listing, it says it has uh, six buttons, seven changeable LED color lights, ergonomic programmable MMO RPG for PC computer, laptop gaming. LED is listed currently for around $29.99. Has a lot of good reviews, so I thought I'd give it a try. So here's the box. We have also this information here again. Here's some description of the keys. So let's take it out of the box and see what we get. So here's the mouse, looking good. Beautiful, it has this nice matte uh, black finish. Yeah, it's not bad here in my hand, I think, as a first try. The model number is uh, WM07. It has an on off button, it has the uh, laser sensor here. Uh, everything looking good. So it has definitely some weight, which most of the computer players uh, love. So here we have everything from the box. We have the mouse, we have the USB dongle, and we have the charging cable. It's uh, yeah, it's micro USB charging cable, and we have some instructions if you're interested into that. So I'm always showing the full manual pretty quickly to give you the opportunity to make a better buy decision or if you have bought used or you just lost instructions and you need some additional information also some QR code how to charge then the different DPI settings and power saving mode, troubleshooting, yeah we have everything here pretty nice booklet so I'm going to fully charge and then attach it to this new Ryzen mini PC which I'm just installing now uh, but I'm planning to play a couple of short games and so I hope I will be able to find out how good this really is so I've been reading a little bit the instructions and I've already found out a couple of things we have some default DPI settings which we can change with these buttons here and there are 1200, 2000, 2400, 48, 72 and 10,000 these are the DPI settings and colors which are default so if you want to change that then you need to download the driver from uhuru-mobility.com and then you have a lot of different uh, features yeah, here I can already show you the port, the charging port, and also the port which you need to connect when you want to use the mouse wired. Yeah, some players prefer to use gaming mouse only wired because they are saying that when you're using it with 2.4G, then you have some really minor lags. So you could have them. I never had any issues, but it could be in theory. So probably wired is faster and you don't have to worry about charge and also by the way if you want to change the dpi settings and the color settings you need to connect the mouse through the cable to your pc otherwise you cannot change anything but if you are not a pro gamer you can use this small dongle it's really uh, very small it's a nano size very convenient so here i am on the website uhuru-mobility.com and on the support we have downloads and there's dwm07 this wireless mouse zip you just click on that and download and then you open the zip file uh, you right click extract all i have already done this and here i have this wireless gaming setup mouse the extracted file you can click on that and allow and if there's a problem uh, with the Microsoft Defender antivirus, probably it will say, yeah, it prevented from starting, then just uh, select the, that you want to allow it. So we'll install this here. Yeah, so here you are, the nice screen. You can see everything what's going on and it says it's charging. We have different profiles, profile one, two, three, four, and we can change the light setting. So we can go to off or static, 
and choose the color here you can see now it's everything is red or we can make it green by double clicking or blue so really uh, easy and we have the uh, off static breathing neon cycle breathing wave floating so many many things so it's really nice here especially this thing on the side helps so you can see how the light is changing so for me yeah the normal breathing works the best or uh, this is what i really like i'll stick with that and you can also change the dpi setting you can see dpi setting you have the full range from 100 to 10,000 for all the settings which then are applied to just one click here and you can change this immediately here just by pressing the button you don't have to go back into this menu you can also change the polling rate between 125 and uh, 1000 you can even apply some macros probably apply to these keys here button settings yeah you can see you can change a lot yeah macro dpi button setting light setting you have all the profiles uh, you can probably store and then retrieve your uh, profile here so you have everything what you really need and down here you can see when we click it goes now we are on top with the blue we can go down to yellow and to this dark blue and the green and to the red setting also when you apply the buttons or when you click the buttons you will see the dpi here how it's changing and you can see the changing color here yellow blue green red everything but the cool thing is it goes back to the color which you have uh, selected so you can stick with your color regardless from the dpi which you have been selecting Okay, I've been playing a little bit this crazy game Rebel Forces and mission is completed. I had 15 kills, I was winning this battle, online battle with this mouse here, so you can see it's definitely working. I didn't have any problem, it was my first battle here with this mouse and it felt really uh, natural, really comfortable, uh, really nice with the weight and balance and everything, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I absolutely had no problems and I've been successful with the first attempt. Yeah, I almost forgot uh, one or two things here. Uh, when you start with this mouse here, you have plugged it in. You can use this thing right away. You don't have to install drivers. You want to download and install the additional driver, so you have more options regarding DPI and cause. Yeah, you can do that, but you don't need to do that if you're worried about downloading and installing third-party software or if you just don't want it or you don't need it. You can leave it like is. It works perfectly right from the beginning. Just plug it in and it will work right away also i forgot to show you how it's working with the wireless dongle here now I've unplug this thing it should be definitely charged we're plugging in this dongle here let's see how long it takes till we can use the mouse now i think it's setting up the mouse and now we have to turn it on here because the thing is when you have it wired when you're using it wired uh, you can even use it in the turned off mode but if you want to use it wireless you need to move this switch here to the up position and then it will turn on and then you can use it wireless let's see yeah so probably when you have it turned on here and then plug this thing in it will just take a couple of seconds to work and you can see there's that no difference between wired and wireless uh, maybe a pro would feel something in between but not for me so again i'm playing up for a little bit here with the crazy games and you can see yeah, this uh, for me there's no lag no nothing no problem visible yeah try to escape here i'm not intending to play a lot i'm just moving away uh, but you can see uh, from my hand what I do and how the game is reacting is absolutely no problem yeah this guy is definitely in the way sorry for that but uh, yeah it's really working good I for my side I don't feel any difference here 
and it's working also wireless really good so i can definitely give you a full recommendation on that and i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out or the drive from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you next time